Hi friends, welcome back to Oracle SQL and PL SQL group. In my previous videos, we have discussed about the differences between SQL and PL SQL, and what is PL SQL, and what are the blocks of PL SQL, and what are the different types of blocks that are available in PL SQL, and what are the subprograms, and what are the differences between subprograms and anonymous block, and also we have discussed about the subprograms functions. and also procedures and examples of procedures and functions so friends if any one of you have missed wa watching that video please go to my channel and do watch that video to understand the concepts of pl sql so today we are going to discuss about the main block that is main program called package in pl sql so moving on to the first slide let us get started discussing about oracle pl sql package So, Oracle PL SQL packages are schema objects that group logically related PL SQL types, variables, and subprograms. So, PL SQL package is a combination of data types, constants, variables, exceptions, and subprograms. So, putting together all these will be called as package. So, a package will have two mandatory sections or parts. one is package specification and another one is package body or package definition so here the package specification will also be called as package declaration section and package body will also be called as package definition section so if you see this diagram here we have created a application so we have created application by using pl sql types variables constants exceptions and also different sub programs so if you see here in this diagram the database contains so many sub programs so here i am creating a package that can be converted as a complete application so from this database i am grouping all the needed or required sub programs into together as a package and by using all of them i will be creating a application here in oracle pl sql so if you see here in package i have given specification and body so let us discuss about this in depth moving on to the next slide so this is the architecture or components of a pl sql package so here we have package specification and package body so in package specification we have variables and procedure a declaration procedure b declaration whatever the sub programs that are you are going to use in main program that can either be declared here so in package specification we will be declaring procedures concept constants and other variables and all so in package body we will be defining all the required parts so whatever you are going to define inside the package body will be treated as private whatever you are going to declare inside a package specification will be treated as public say for example in procedures it is not mandatory to declare all the sub programs that you are going to use in main body of the package that means if you see in this diagram in declaration i have only declared procedure a if you come and see here in package body i have defined procedure b and also procedure a that means procedure a is declared in specification as well as defined in package body but procedure b is only defined here but not declared in package specification so here the procedure v will be procedure b will be assumed as private and procedure a will be called as public so it will procedure a will be treated as public and procedure b will be treated as private so this is the main concept of pl sql thank you friends thank you for watching this video about knowing the packages in my next video i will be discussing the further concepts of pl sql do subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you